here was this unbelievably uh, stunning piece of architecture, you know, with all this great stone and history and towers and archaeological digs. And, you know, as soon as I saw it, I said, this is the place, and we've got to do the, we're going to do something, let's do it here. Initially, we weren't going to have as many pieces, they weren't going to be as large, but I wanted to be able to really, you know, get a grip on the Citadel, so that when people came in, they could experience the exhibition and really feel the force and the magic and the joy of the glass. I love the idea that doing this project in Jerusalem, we were very near where, where glass blowing was invented and where glass was invented. I had to compete with that, you know, with that citadel, with, that, with those great Herod stones, with that unbelievable, you know, architecture and spaces. I had to, my glass had to hold its own in there and not be sucked up by the space. I think it's a nice piece, you know, nice homage to the, the history and the tradition that, um, there was glass in, in this region. It gives me um, an opportunity in, in a location like Jerusalem and the Citadel to look at it, to, to be inspired by the location, just like I worked when I was a glass blower, when I was making the glass myself. You know, you go in and blow the glass and then it takes you someplace different every day if you let it. 